Good day ladies and gentlemen, this is Professor Ma. Today, Professor Ma will explain why cryptocurrencies seem like a scam. In a free market, the price of an item will be equal to its market value. The market value of any item is the total of its intrinsic value and its speculative value. Let me repeat that. The market value of any item is the total of its intrinsic value and its speculative value. As intrinsic value and speculative value cannot be lower than zero, market value will never be lower than zero. Let us now define the various terms. The market value of an item is essentially the price of the item in a free market economy. The intrinsic value of an item is what it is worth as a useful item. The speculative value of an item is the amount of money someone else is willing to pay above the intrinsic value of the item due to expectation that the price of the item will rise in future. For example, a school textbook has intrinsic value because the student needs it for school, but it has almost zero speculative value because the publisher would usually print and sell more of it should there be a price spike. School textbooks are an example of items whose market value is solely made up of their intrinsic value since the speculative value is zero. On the other hand, there are items whose market value consists entire of their speculative value. One example would be non-fungible tokens, or NFT. Essentially, an NFT is a unique digital identifier that is recorded on a blockchain and is used to certify ownership and authenticity. It cannot be copied, substituted, or subdivided. The ownership of an NFT is recorded in the blockchain and can be transferred by the owner, allowing NFTs to be sold and traded. As an NFT does not restrict the sharing or copying of its associated digital file and does not prevent the creation of NFTs that reference identical files, the intrinsic value of the NFT is zero because the owner cannot restrict the use of the inherent digital material by others. Because of this, the market value of any NFT simply reflects the expectation that the price will rise in future. We have already discussed the two extremes. So let us now examine an item that has both intrinsic value and speculative value. This item is property. In land scarce Singapore, the price of property is very high compared to the rest of the world. While a large component of the market value of most properties in Singapore would be the intrinsic value, sometimes the speculative value becomes significant as well. In such times, the Singapore government will usually step in with cooling measures. Let us return to the main subject, which is why do cryptocurrencies seem like a scam? Cryptocurrencies appear to be a scam because the majority of cryptocurrencies do not have any intrinsic value, because one cannot use them to buy anything. Some established cryptocurrencies like Bitcoin do have intrinsic value because they can be used to purchase items. In fact, Bitcoin is even legal tender in El Salvador and the Central African Republic. One key point to note is that any item which has a large component of its market value made up of speculative value will generally have price volatility, and this is why cryptocurrencies seem like a scam because they have large price swings. When the price swings downwards, people who have bought cryptocurrencies at high prices will definitely feel that it is a scam. In subsequent videos, Professor Ma will explain more aspects of life. In the meantime, please help by liking and by subscribing. Thank you.